This is the election that wasn't meant to take place. But it could turn out to be one of the big milestones in British politics. We're expecting the first results within minutes. So stay with us for all the day's news and an election night to remember. Yes, good evening from the BBC election studio. It's two years and 11 months since Britain voted to leave the European Union. And here we are, after years of turmoil and uncertainty, electing new members to the European Parliament. Just days after the Prime Minister announced that she was resigning because she'd failed to deliver Brexit as promised. I do so with no ill will, but with enormous and enduring gratitude to have had the opportunity to serve the country I love. Well, tonight's results aren't just a verdict on Theresa May's leadership, they're also having an impact on the choice of new Conservative leader and the Brexit approach that he or she will adopt. And what about Labour? Well, it's happy birthday to Jeremy Corbyn, who's 70 today, but let's see what the voters say about his approach to Brexit and the questions about his attitude to another referendum. In Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon will be hoping for a strong showing for the SNP as she considers calling for a second vote on independence. And in the southeast of England, Nigel Farage will be hoping to top the poll with his new Brexit party, repeating the feat of five years ago when he and UKIP took the lion's share. We're expecting the first results any moment now and I'll be here at the giant touch screen analysing them all as they come in. Yes, we'll be keeping tabs on all the results around the UK and, of course, across the European Union, where many countries have been voting today. And yes, in Germany, look at that. The Greens celebrating like crazy this evening because they've had a very good day indeed. And Marine Le Pen's far-right national rally uh, doing very well in France and beating President Macron's grouping into second place. All of that to come here in the studio will be joined by leading politicians throughout the night. I'll introduce them shortly. And our political editor, Laura Kunzberg, is with us, as always, to shed light on what is going on as we wait to see if the political landscape changes in these European elections of 2019. So, yes, we're expecting some results within minutes. But I think uh, what we could do now at two minutes past ten is take a look at the scene around the country. Um, and let's